morning, Varela. I'm Adriana Migueles. And I'm Wendell Guevara. Coming up next on WVHS News, we've got important information for seniors. And we'll tell you about an incoming field trip you don't want to miss. Plus, we'll tell you why there are so many unfamiliar faces today to have Varela. We'll have these stories and more in just a moment. WVHS News starts right now. Topping the news today, it is cold outside. In fact, this is one of the coldest weeks South Florida has experienced in a long time. Some vipers are loving it, while others look forward to having warmer temperatures once again. How are you enjoying the weather lately? I am loving this weather. This weather is so awesome. The fact that I can open my windows, shut off my AC, and just feel the breeze, you can't get no better than that. In Florida, awesome. Um, I really like the weather lately. Being this cold, it's pretty chill. Uh, I like the cold because it's always hot in Florida. It's chilly. Uh, but the change in weather, I mean, it's really cold, like, you know, it's like frozen cold. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, like, like one more degree below and it's going to snow, you feel me? So, yeah. I am loving this weather. I love the cold. I love the fact that I can wear my sweater. And it just feels nice and beautiful outside. So, I hope it stays. Our school will be welcoming a STEAM team today who will be visiting classrooms and seeing how Vipers use science, technology, engineering, arts and math in our leptics and academic classes. If they happen to walk into a classroom, make sure to make them feel at home. Our school's drama students will once again take the stage tonight for another performance of Everybody. If you didn't get a chance to come out last night, make sure to do so today or tomorrow night. Doors to the auditorium open at 6.30. The cost of the show is only $8. Okay. Do you remember God? Do I remember God? Yes. Do I remember God? I don't understand. Do I remember God? Do you? Um, yes, actually. <laughs> I feel really good. Uh, I think everyone did really good and it was overall a really good performance. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, working with all these people, it's, it's so much fun just to be in, in part of a community, you know. I think it went really well, you know, because it was like, to be 100% honest, half of it, not half of it, a good chunk of it was improvised. Um, it was really fun, it was really scary, but like we pulled it off and I think it came out really good, so yeah. Did you have fun doing it? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Also, this show is PG-13, so don't bring your little ones. In less than a week, it will be time for our annual performing arts show featuring the band, chorus, and dancers. The show is taking place next Wednesday, December 11th, in the auditorium at 7 p.m. The cost is only $8, so make sure to come out and enjoy the show. In other news, 7 period registration is once again open. If you need to recover classes, now is the time to register. The cost is only $7. Classes will begin January 15. For more information, see your concealer. Seniors, it's time to turn in your community service paperwork. Your packet is due a week from today, so make sure to complete the packet and turn it into your counselor. Once again, the Activities Office is accepting payments for caps and gowns. If you brought your money today, make sure to go to the Activities Office during lunch to take care of this senior obligation. Seniors, you also need to pay your, your debts. If you owe money to the school for lost books, class fees, or anything in between, you must pay off that debt by next week. You can go online to check and how much you owe, and best of all, you can pay with a credit card from the comfort of your own home. If that doesn't work for you, you can bring cash and pay at the treasurer's window. Vipers, listen up. Our school is hosting a college tour. This is a great opportunity for you to travel the state and visit some of the best colleges in Florida. To reserve your spot, you need to bring $140. Siemens Hyatt in room 237 for information. Space is limited to only 40 students. First come, first serve. 
Once again, middle school students visiting Varela as part of Viper for the Day event. About 600 eighth graders from neighboring middle schools will be touring our building to learn more about all the wonderful programs and electives our school has to offer. These students will be popping in and out of classes, interacting with our students, and getting a feel of what it's like to be a Viper. The holidays are upon us, and for many children in our community, there is so much under the tree on Christmas Day. So our school is once again putting together some stockings and stuffing them in with all kinds of cuties. Here to tell us more on how we can get involved is Annette, one of the Pipers who works at the activities office. So the Gould Elementary um, Drive is uh, for the kids of the Gould School. We collect toys and items for um, every age group and we fill them up with stockings and the, those stockings are given to the children the week before Christmas break. Now it's time to toss it over to sports with Ashley. The boys soccer team will be in action today facing off Coral Reef. This game starts at 2. Earlier this week the team battled against the South Dade Buccaneers and what a battle it was. Neither team was able to score a goal. The game ended in a tie with a score of 0-0. The girls soccer team will also see action today against Coral Reef. Earlier this week they too faced off against the Bucks and weren't able to get the ball through the net. The final score was 6-0 with the Buccaneers coming out on top. The boys basketball team got their first win of the season last week and almost got their second during a nail biter of a game against South Dade. Our team was neck to neck with the Bucks to the very end but fell short by only one basket. The final score was 47 to 46. Up next for the boys will be the game against the Kudas. We wish all of our players the best of luck. Well, Vipers, that's it for sports. Now it's time to toss it over to the activities calendar. The Vet Academy is hosting a Viper Fun Day at the Kendall Ice Arena tonight in order to raise funds for their program. You can pre-order in the Vet Academy or purchase them at the door. So get your jackets ready, gather up your friends, and head out to the Kendall Ice Arena tonight and support this great cause. The annual PTSA Craft Fair will be taking place this Saturday from 8 till 3. Come out and browse through all the kiosks and don't forget to, make, to bring money to make purchases. This craft fair is more like a bazaar where you can search for all kinds of little treasures and perhaps even find some holiday gifts. Christmas is three weeks away and many homes are already decorated for holidays, but we wanted to find out just when is the right time to put up your Christmas tree. Here, here's what our vapors told us. To put up a Christmas tree would be like right after Thanksgiving. That way when you're putting up the Christmas tree, you burn all the calories, you know, picking up the tree, wrapping the lights, wrapping the presents, that kind of stuff. Uh, right after Thanksgiving. I think the perfect time to put up your Christmas tree is like at the beginning of December because it's like the perfect time since it's like the Christmas season. Uh, I would say after Thanksgiving, like as a family. I think the best time to put up the Christmas tree is December 1st because it's Christmas season. It's the beginning. Uh, I guess the first day of December. The best time to put up a Christmas, a Christmas tree is around <laughs> before Thanksgiving. You are. The best time to put up a Christmas tree is like a week after Thanksgiving. Like two and a half, three weeks before Christmas. Gives you enough time to like be in the mood but for it to not get old. I'd say about two weeks before Christmas. 
right after Thanksgiving. Honestly, whenever you feel like it, more preferably after Thanksgiving, at the start of December. Well, that wraps it up from here. We will see you again next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Bye.